Hi, this is Craig with Mobile Monkey. Today we're going to be talking about the connection widget. This is a pro feature that allows you to take data from Mobile Monkey that people type into your bot and export it to another platform like Infusionsoft or your autoresponder or a spreadsheet. I'm going to give you a quick overview. We're going to set one up and then we're going to do a live example. All right, let's go. All right, so we're here in our dashboard, we're in our contest demo. We're going to be utilizing the marketing automation connections tab here. And we're going to be utilizing a software called Zapier. So the first thing we want to do is add a connection. And we're going to call this spreadsheet demo because what we're going to do is we're going to take data from mobile monkey and we're going to send it to a spreadsheet via zapier here we're going to create a audience i've created a demo audience here you can create a new audience or use an existing audience and we're going to leave this as continuously send contact data from an audience now we need a URL and in order to get that we get that through Zapier so what we do is we go and we say make a zap and we choose web we do a search for web hooks that's the one we want and we're gonna do catch hook and we're gonna hit save and continue once that comes up to this we're gonna ignore that and we're gonna hit continue again and then here is the code, the URL that we need. So we're going to copy that and we're going to go back to Mobile Monkey and we're going to paste this there. Now we're going to leave this as post and we're going to choose some attributes. So I'm going to do first name and this is a value that comes right from Facebook. We don't have to ask them for that. And last name also from Facebook. And then email. This is not from Facebook. This is something that the bot will collect when we ask them for it. All right, so now we've got that. What we want to do is test the connection. So we're just going to type name in here. I'm going to do plus test. And we're going to send test. Okay, we've got a successful test. Now we go back to Zapier and we say, okay, I did this because it's going to wait. It's going to get the data that I just sent from Mobile Monkey. So it's looking for it. It has gotten it. So we're going to hit continue. And we need to add our next step, which is going to be the spreadsheet. We're going to choose Google Sheets. And we're going to choose, we want to choose create a spreadsheet row because we're going to add new data to the spreadsheet. So we cl click that and we hit save. And then we need to choose an, an account. So I'm going to choose this account. You'll probably just have one in there, but just hit test to make sure you're connected. If not, you just connect this button and it'll ask you to log into your Google account. So we're going to save that and now we're going to find our spreadsheet. I've named it Mobile Monkey Connections Demo and the worksheet is just sheet one. So as you can see it picked up first name, last name, and email and if I click this button I'm going to choose my name which I did with the test, my last name, and the email so you notice those are the same as I did with the test so we're gonna hit continue and it shows all the data there we're gonna send this to the sheet just to make sure that it's working and we're gonna check the sheet and there we go that's the email and the name everything's good to go there now we're going to hit finish and we're gonna name it we're gonna name it mobile monkey test zap and we're going to turn it on you want to make sure and turn it on if you do not turn it on it will not work 
Now we're going to go back to Mobile Monkey. We're going to hit Done here. And now we're going to actually, um, I'm going to show you how, where the data is coming from. So we're going to test this. We're going to go to Pages. And we're going to actually do a test. So we're going to test this. We're going to open it in Messenger. And while that's opening, you see we've got two lines. So when we're done, we should have three lines. So we're going to hit Giveaway Contest. We're going to say, I'm ready. We're going to just say, Test here. And there's our email. So now it should have captured my name, my email, and my first name, last name, and my email. So let's go back here. And as you can see, it worked. We've got Craig Cameron Jr. Smart Sites at Gmail. So that is how you use the connection widget. If you have any questions at all, visit our group and leave a post or send us an email support at mobilemonkey.com. Hope that helps. Thanks.